I'm Randy Hewitt, SmartBoardsReviews.com, and today we're going to take a look at the Minimio Interactive XI Bar. And so in regards to the setup, it's very similar to the EB Edge. Uh, we're going to retrofit a regular uh, whiteboard, and it comes with a receiver. So you can see the receiver on the board. It's uh, attached by suction cups on the back. It's a little bit bigger, and it has a couple of buttons on it, which makes it a little bit nice. And then we have the USB cord, and that's connected to our laptop. And the laptop, again, is connected to the projector. So after we install the uh, software on the laptop, we'll be ready for the calibration. So after we have the software installed, we're going to start with the calibration. And what we do is click on this button right here. Click it again. And we have the calibration. Again, we just go ahead and click. through the target areas to calibrate the pen, very similar to a Palm Pilot. Now we're done. And then this takes us to the Mimeo Notebook software. Um, if you take a look at the software here, you can see on the right hand side is a tool palette. And we're just going to go through the very basics. This is the first time actually we've been using the Mimeo board, and so you can walk through the process with us. Uh, on the left, or on the right, sorry, we have a marker pen. So again, we have different colors that we can select. So we'll go with green. Also, you can change the size and the thickness of, the, of these lines. And then we have the eraser. Or we can just go ahead and delete the whole page, which I do not know how to do. Right, let me just get rid of this. Sorry. We can also add objects. We have squares, circles, triangles. And again, we can adjust the size or the thickness of each one of these. To delete, we just select the object, and then we can delete. Actually, also, what's nice about the Mimeo stylus is we can just right click, and I'll right click on the object, and we can just cut. As you can see, it takes a little bit of practice. We also have the highlighting capability. So you can highlight certain uh, areas on your, on your image. And some of the cool features that we found, we have a area where we can reveal, actually. Turn the recorder off. So if you have your lesson plan and you want to reveal an image as it goes down. That's kind of cool. We also have a spotlight tool. And now you can also move your spotlight around. To be able to highlight certain areas of your image. We right click, we exit. Let's take a look at some of the other tools. We go directly to the web browser. Here we can go to google.com. We can type in an address. Let's get out of that. And also we have access to the gallery. So again, like all the other interactive whiteboard technologies, there's a gallery. We can take a look at the different subject headings. We can take a look, for example, at a specific sport like soccer, see what images. We can drag those images over and resize them. 
or move them. If I was a little better at this, I'd be able to resize them. And move it around. There we go. So that's the MIMU interactive whiteboard. 